All right, guys, it's Gary Dean. I'm positive you guys are going to think I'm nuts, but I'm going to tell you something that just occurred to me today. Now, obviously, uh, when you hear about it, it has definitely occurred to someone else. So I got, I was, I've been in uh, Delaware for a few days, about five days now. I got picked up at the airport today by my ride, and we were driving back to my house. And on the way home, we drove by a company, a grill company, uh, on a major road. And they had a sign out front that said grill detailing. And I'm thinking, hmm. And then I walked outside when I got home and I looked at my grill. And, you know, again, I've been waiting to clean it because I wanted to show off the power of Infinite Purpose Cleaner. But it never really occurred to me that you could potentially make some money doing this, especially this time of year when it's nice outside. People are, you know, using the grill a lot. I mean, you know, the bottom line is I paid $400 for my grill. It was worth me putting in the effort to clean it up. Now, this is the beginning of the video, but I've already cleaned this thing up. I shot the other parts of the video already, uh, and I'll get to that. But it just made so much sense to me when I saw it. Grill detailing. Hmm. I don't know what they charge for that service, but I can tell you that I just spent a total of 15 minutes on my grill and turned it around. If I put a little bit more effort into this, if I gave it 30 minutes, I bet you you could charge 50, 60 bucks for a solid grill cleaning where they don't have to do it, get greasy, or clean up the mess. I feel like that's worth it. I don't know. I mean, something to think about for sure. But the bottom line is I got my grill all cleaned up, and now I'm about to hit it with the Infinite Use Detail Juice uh, and a black microfiber towel. It's all clean. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, it's got some streaks on it. I don't want the streaks there. So I'm gonna hit it with the juice real quick and uh, wipe her down. And that's it. So anyway, think about that. I know that sounds crazy, but if they're making money on it, you could be making money on it too. Don't limit yourself. That, I guess, is where I'm trying to go with this particular segment of this video. Don't limit yourself on what you will do. Do your best to be the best all around detailer you can be. Who wants to lose out on money? Not me, especially if the jobs aren't just banging down and beating down your door. You wanna make sure you can get any and every job that you can get while that money's hot. If they're willing to pay me to do it, I'm willing to do it, period. And that's where I'm at. So you can take that to the bank. I like to make that money. If, if I'm willing to do it and they're willing to pay me to do it, it is a marriage made by the money gods and uh, it is worth doing. So keep that in mind. I would, I would absolutely put that down on my list of services if I was looking to do something like that. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm doing this and I'm thinking, man, the grill really looks brand new again. It's seven months old. It was worth me putting in that effort. And I just kind of feel like you can make some money doing that, obviously, or they wouldn't have offered it. So anyway, that's my Charbroil. I love that grill. It is amazing. They had one size bigger for $100 more, and it had a, um, instead of just the, uh, regular burner it had a, um, a flat plate where you could do bacon and stuff like that I opted out of that I'm glad I did I just didn't need the size but uh, with some infinite purpose cleaner and a few wipes with uh, infinite use detail juice this thing looks pretty much brand new again anyway grill detailing hmm it's a little bit of work but so is car detailing and I kind of feel like people need that so you should look into it. I don't know. Uh, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm always looking for a way to expand my services without having to spend a bunch of money or go a different route in business. And in the detailing game, you can detail lots of stuff. Like I mentioned, you know, from the, the grill to the kitchen floor to the kitchen sink to the bathrooms, to all of that. It all can be detailed. What can you offer? I'm not saying that you need to be a house cleaner. I'm saying that 
detailing grills just kind of seems like people would need that. Um, so you might want to look into that. I don't know. But Infinite Purpose Cleaner did a hell of a job cleaning my grill. That's all I do know, and that's what this video was about. So uh, thanks again for watching. I am uh, at my house, and I'm about to clean my grill. Uh, as you can see, I just have not cleaned it for a while so that I could shoot this video. Nothing fancy. It's a Char Royal commercial grade situation. It's a very nice grill. However, I have let it go a little bit so that I could do a demo on my infinite purpose cleaner. So the cool part about my products and you know general detailing products is that you can use them in your home. Uh, especially the infinite purpose cleaner. It's very safe. Anyway, give it a spray. This is diluted one part product to two parts water. As most of you guys know, I'm kind of a kind of a big griller. Got my brand right here, my GMFD brand. I like to brand my meat. I got a lot of you guys know I do beef jerky. I post a lot of pictures on social media of you know just food I cook, tacos, meats, poultry, all that stuff. And uh I want to show you guys that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on it. Alright, I had to grab some paper towels. So when I do parties, I do them right. I've got a commercial grade snow cone machine right there. It's a bad boy. It's a bad boy right there. Do snow cones out by the pool. Grilling it up. That's how we do it. Uh, so anyway, Infinite Purpose Cleaner is pretty amazing. Um, I have the 3M Doodle Bug that I will use on the grill. I just want to use a, just a micro... Well, shit. I'm, I'm shooting a detailing video, but not on... A vehicle so I am not using microfiber I am using paper towel so anyway it cut most of that stuff off and I'm just gonna give it a little bit more right there basically what I'm trying to show is I got this grill six months ago and I have not cleaned it since shame on me but cool part is the infinite purpose cleaner from detailjuice.com works amazing. Now, some of you are probably asking yourself, well, Gary Dean, why are you not using your tiger's blood cleaner? That's the stronger cleaner. Well, it's because you don't have to. It's because the infinite purpose cleaner works awesome. That is why. No real elbow grease. And this is not a super heavy dilution. Like I said, it's one part product to uh, two parts water and that's you know that's pretty much how I clean everything if you guys watch my videos you know that uh, you know I use IPC one to one part water or one part product to two parts water pretty much every time I use it I don't really vary my dilutions however a concern of some of you guys is you know, uh, the cost factor. Uh, again, I would be far more concerned about pleasing your customer than I would about the uh, the cost factor. That's, that's what you guys don't seem to realize is it's not about nickel and, and diamond and worrying about those pennies. It's about pleasing that customer because I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you, and I'll put it just like that, that you can compensate yourself with every job, with whatever products you choose to use, whether they're the most expensive products on the market or they're the cheapest products on the market, you can compensate yourself in each and every detail by just modifying the price slightly because it costs pennies, even for your expensive stuff. You're talking about dollars, singles, instead of tens or hundreds of dollars. We're talking about pennies compared to 
the big dollar amount that is the job. So keep in mind, it's all about making that customer happy. And compensate yourself by modifying the price a dollar or two if you need to. Doesn't take much to compensate yourself or to recoup the money you're spending in product by just adding a dollar here and there to your jobs. And that's the kind of stuff I'm trying to get you guys to see. Everybody's like, oh, it's so expensive. Well, I'll tell you what, if you can't afford to buy good quality products, you shouldn't be in business. And if uh, you're a consumer that doesn't want to buy good quality products because they're too expensive. Now I can tell you, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've tried pretty much everything on the market. And even for me, some things are excessive. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not a fan of, and you, a lot of you guys know this, I'm not a fan of fancy waxes. Um, I, I believe that wax is total bullshit. Uh, it is uh, technology that's so old that it's not even worth mentioning or, or using anymore, especially because polymers are so much better, so much more durable and so much stronger. So when it comes to using protective products, uh, if it's not a polymer or better, I would say don't use it. Uh, but that's my personal recommendation. But anyway, as you can see, I'm not scrubbing hard at all, but I am getting this nasty, dirty drill clean, which is something I should have done a long time ago. But, you know, give it a few miss. On the, uh, on the tougher areas, I'm going to go ahead and use the doodle bug. And get that looking better super duper fast. A little rust spots here and there. Again, from neglect, it's my fault. Faux show. But this grill sits outside like your grill does. Uh, I do not put a cover on it. It's covered by the uh, ceiling here. But anyway, my point is, it doesn't take a lot of infinite purpose cleaner to get a fantastic job done, even on your appliances, like this grill right here. And uh, give her a good wipe down. In fact, after I'm done with the Infinite Purpose Cleaner, I'm gonna hit this whole thing with the uh, Infinite Use Detail Juice to give it a little bit of protection. Shine her up a little bit. But yeah, there you go. She's all clean now. Uh, now I'm gonna start working on the uh, inside uh, I I mean look at that literally it just broke down all of that food that was on there that easy Very little effort, very little effort. Again, I could probably put a little bit more elbow grease into it uh, if I weren't holding this camera, but I am holding this camera and I obviously don't care that much, but I wanted to show you how easy it is to get great results with this stuff. This has got to come apart because that's gross, but anyway, Clean the grill very well, very effortlessly. Um, I could probably come in here with some chrome cream and really shine this thing up. But again, it's uh, the give a care factor and I don't give enough cares to get that looking any better. All right, so I cut the video and I was putting this thing back together and then I thought man this isn't just a cheap department store grill I like I paid four hundred dollars for this thing and I'm like I'm not gonna just put it back together like this so obviously my OCD kicked in and I cleaned it a little bit more so I got down and dirty with this thing. I cleaned it very well from top to bottom. I got all inside here, everything, the grease trap down below. I cleaned off all the burners. 
uh, all the burner covers, um, all the infrared grates, the uh, you know the the top of the grill piece, the the rack. I cleaned all of the uh, countertop space, cleaned all down in the uh, burner area where I don't use anyway. But it's all clean. Now, I didn't go hog wild and go just ridiculously nuts, first of all, because I'm about to use it to grill some burgers. But beyond that, um, it doesn't make any sense because, first of all, it's not brand new. All I wanted to do was knock off the heavy stuff and make it look a little bit nicer and... Um, you know, so that I felt like I was using clean utensils. And, you know, it's that time. It's actually seven months in since I bought this thing when I moved in uh, here. But what I'm trying to get at is I just used like three ounces of the Infinite Purpose Cleaner Concentrate. Notice there's still a little bit left in the bottle. And it was, I don't know, maybe here filled up. I'm not sure. Uh, but you're probably you've already watched the first part of the video and you know how much was in there and i can tell you that that dilution worked really really well and it was safe on the stainless it's safe on everything else you use it on but it cleans really really well makes quick work of all the grease and the grime and the nastiness and uh you know again three ounces of that clean this whole grill up every all those parts all these parts all the parts in there the grease trap everything and we are ready to go clean and cooking and amazing so if you get nothing else from this video it's that if you're a guy who uses my products a lot you can take them in the house and let your wife use them because it just makes sense it really seems like a waste not to use your detailing products in the house. Um, I mean, I don't know what the deal with other people's products are. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't do a whole lot of that research. I stick to uh, the facts on my products and that we use the safest chemicals available, and we are as VOC free as we can possibly get with everything that we use. That's important to me, and being eco friendly, and you know. Being pet friendly and people friendly is, is very important to me. Using less water, fewer products, better results. But the bottom line is, let your wife use the Infinite Purpose Cleaner. It's awesome. And it works really, really, really well. You can also use the uh, Infinite Use Detail Juice in the interior on glass and mirrors and floors and all that kind of stuff. It works really, really well. Um, you know, use it at your, you know, use common sense when you're using it test 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 and check it out but you know bring it in the house do some testing uh it's worth it uh plus your wife would probably let you buy more if she knows how well it could work for her so anyway this uh this grill is awesome i didn't want it to sit there it's a charbroil commercial series uh this is the 399.99 one at lowe's it is amazing uh, I, I really dig the grill and like I said when I was putting it back together I just couldn't I couldn't bear to just throw it back together without cleaning it properly So I spent an extra 10 minutes guys doing this I uh, went through about a roll of paper towels But I only used about three ounces of the infinite purpose cleaner. So Boom, baby Thanks for watching. Have a great day